Hey, this is Ben with the Crested Butte Avalanche Center. We're here near Kebler Pass, and we're gonna take you on an illustrated journey across our forecast area from west over to east. Give you a sense of how much old snow we've got on the ground before this next storm arrives. The models are pretty excited right now. It looks like we're gonna see somewhere in the neighborhood of one to two feet on Friday um, across our forecast area. So. So here we are up at Paradise Divide. We're a little under 12,000 feet. We are on a north aspect and we're here looking to find out what this incoming storm on November 17th is gonna be falling on top of. So we're looking here down at the base at old weak layers formed in October. We've got a couple of crusts right in here that formed during some warm weather. And then we have a bunch of faceted snow up through here that's substantially weaker right up here under this thin crust. And then the surface itself is actually quite weak as well. Okay, so let's see if this crack's gonna propagate. We're looking right down here at that interface just underneath that mid-October crust. All right, so we're talking uh, before the storm comes, we've got crown depths of roughly 50 centimeters plus the storm snow on top. We're easily talking in w old wind loaded areas, we could see avalanches up to three feet deep two days from now. So here we are still at Paradise Divide. This avalanche right behind me was triggered a couple days ago. Skier triggered from well down below the crown. They were actually uh, right about at that traverse track or a little below. And remote triggered the slide from above. The slide actually almost caught up to the skier who was able to exit thanks to their partner watching them and helping them get out of the path in time. Uh, that avalanche happened to fail on the exact same weak layer that we just saw in those couple snowpack tests just back that way. So a little sign of what's to come. Uh, things, the avalanche size is gonna be substantially bigger after we add another foot or two on top of these old weak layers. So um, heads up as we head into our first big loading event of the season.